So I'm sure most of you are not aware, but we can actually add buttons into our node groups. It's not obviously listed anywhere. It's only something that we can add with a Python script. And don't worry, it's not complicated at all. All you have to do is just change one little variable and that's the name of the group. But that can still be really tedious, especially if you have a lot of groups that you're working with. So I went ahead and created a free add-on that just does this all automatically. All you have to do is just select your node group, right click on it, go to the bottom where it says new button, and now you have a button. There's a little quirk with it that I'll explain later, but in order to make it functional, we can't just connect it like we would any other node. We have to right click on our button, click copy as new driver, and then right click on the value of the node that we want to control and hit paste driver. So now this will link the button to whatever we want, just like we would with a, a little connection string, but this is just the workaround for now because connecting it does not work. And the reason it doesn't work is because buttons print out a true or false statement. And that's fine, that's what they should do, but they do not print a zero or a one, and that's what shader nodes need. They need numerical values, and buttons do not print out numerical values. It would be like trying to tell a computer two plus two equals four, but we spell one of the twos as T-W-O instead of just number two. It, the computer doesn't know what to do. So this is just a workaround because drivers are thankfully able to translate this for us automatically, and that's not a problem we have to worry about. So if you're interested in the add-on, you can get it for free with the link below, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you for watching.